All right, everyone, this is our last video, and we will talk about the end of the Federalist era and then return to the essential question. So we left off with the foreign affairs that did not make John Adams or the Federalist Party look too good. And John Adams and the Federalists are pretty aware that they're losing power and popularity. What really puts the nail in the coffin is the election of 1800, which is the first time we have a transition in political power from the Federalist Party to Jefferson and the Democratic Republicans. We'll see that this will launch a new period in history called the Jeffersonian era, which we'll study next unit. Even though the Federalist Party is pretty weak by the election of 1800, they did accomplish a few things that would leave a legacy on the foundations of American democracy, which you can see here. A lot of these points will come back and play a big role in America's development in the 1800s, especially as we move towards the Civil War. Now, we are back at our essential questions. I want you to pause this video and think about what answers you can provide for each essential question, thinking back to all four videos that you watched for today. Thanks everyone for taking the time to watch this. And as always, feel free to ask questions. I'll see you all in class.